Hello there. In today's video, we eat pizza and wings and tell you the tale of my drunk barber who gave me top tier trims for picture day. Okay? It's perfect. All right, my dudes and dudettes. I have pizza pizza here. Um, I'm immediately reminded of why I haven't eaten it in so long. Uh, it's a little lackluster, not that hot it feels like and uh, already mildly disappointing, but hopefully it's good. Really, to be honest, the only reason why I ordered it was for this right here, and that is their creamy garlic dip. It uh, doesn't come out when you turn it over. It is literally that fatty, but it is so good. Pizza Pizza was a high school classic for me, uh, and then in my 20s, early 20s, being really poor kind of deal in Toronto, I used to hit it a ton, and then I put it on the back burner for forever. I figured I'd try it again today, and uh, ay ay ay, you know, I'm already at an ay 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 situation, but we'll see if it can redeem itself here real quick. Now, before we do anything more, we must pour. We have a Diet Pepsi on the deck today. Of course, we have the coldest water off to the left. And we must shout them out and shout out all the people who purchase with them. I do receive a kickback on commissions from that. It's a great product. It has served me well all summer. So thank you to those who uh, do purchase. If you'd like to purchase and save 10% on a bottle, uh, you do so down below using code hoodie in the links. Uh, once again, in the back, my ice machine is acting up. But uh, that's not a big deal. Just adds to the ambiance. The ambiance. That looks, that's a nice fizzy bubby. Come on in. Nice to meet you. On a Tuesday afternoon. It's not Tuesday at all. It's currently Thursday. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I want to get a bite. And then tell you the story about my amazing barber when I was a child. So, I got pepperoni, cheese, well done. But it's not, you know, it's not gonna have cheese pull. It's already stiff. And that makes me stiff in my attitude. I just, I need it to have cheese pull and to be hot, but uh, unfortunately that's not gonna be the case here. But we got that good creamy gargar. The creamy garlic obviously is making it delicious because it's literally the best creamy garlic on the market in terms of pizza. It had potential. It just needed to be hot. It's just extremely lukewarm. Flavor is good though. Can't lie about that. I'm gonna try one of these wings. I've never tried them. They're the breaded wings, but I've never tried the flavor. They're Chipotle barbecue. We'll see how they fare. Mm -hmm. A flat, a favorite. Okay, pretty good. A little bit of sweet. A little bit of heat. I gotta say their, say their wing game. 
It's pretty on point. But you know what wasn't on point? <clears throat> Was my childhood drunk barber's trim, says haircuts, not on point, not straight, not in line. Okay? So basically the tale... Speaking of tales, there's two people in this world, and the only reason I kept this on was to show you. Creamy garlic, this is a tale, that's a tale. Two types of people in the world. Those who remove tails, and those who keep tails on. I'm a remover. It drives me nuts when the tail stays on. So, creamy dill, gar-gar right there. But before that, I did also make some runny ranch with some crispy bits. Now, I, from my youth, had a drunk barber. Now, I want to use the term barber loosely here because <clears throat> I feel like it's disrespectful to, to uh, actual barbers. Because barbers have pride and care about their craft. It's like a skill, you know? It's a real thing. This is more like a guy who cut hair for a living. Now, the reason I ended up at this guy is because my dad you know, used to love a good deal. And also, my dad is a professional. At shooting the shit, shooting the breeze. A lot of my young years were spent bopping around from place to place. And my dad just walking in chatting people up like you own the place, and then eventually befriend, befriending them and frequenting those places. On those daily errands. So along the way, he met Reg. Reg, if you want a visual, looked like a cross between Brett the Hitman Hart and Razor Ramon, okay? I'm talking a flowy mullet, curly, boxy in the front, fear and loathing, yellow, lensed pedo glasses with a nice pencil pedo stash as well. He wore very flowy, open concept, gold chain, chest hair, Magnum PI type shirts, 80s acid washed dad wranglers, and leather loafers, if you could imagine that. And, uh, you know, ultimately when you look at him, you would really think weekend at Bernie's. So, my dad and Reg became boys. So that's where I would get my lineups, my haircut. Now Reg had a very apparent drinking problem. My dad didn't seem to care. I guess the haircuts were cheap enough and he had a good enough time hanging out. Literally, they would just hang out, chat while I'm getting a haircut in the booster seat. 
and smoked darts. To clarify, in Canada, a dart is a cigarette. And uh, back in my childhood, you were allowed to smoke inside, wherever, whenever. So, texture days around the corner. Time to go see Reg for a sweet lineup. I vividly remember hearing the ice clinking around in like a, you know, low cup like that, glass, fancy bottomed, of just like whiskey or scotch or something that we, he would have on the go, trimming right by my eyes and my ears, okay? So, you know, Back in the day, it, was, it really was the wild, wild west. People just used to do crazy shit. Now, what was even crazier or funnier about the red situation is he had like a salon partner named Joe. And Joe was a tall, slender, bony, almost turtle-esque faced gay man who loved to run marathons, which is essentially the exact polar opposite of Reg, though their names both consisted of three letters. I could never understand how their partnership came to be. Joe used to wear turtlenecks and kind of like have like an accent. And was more professional. When people actually wanted a good haircut, they would come in to see Joe. Super interesting dynamic. Needless to say, from the picture I showed you, and I have many more grades worth of pictures with that same terrible chopped sides, slanted bowl cut trim. Horrendous hack job haircut. Here's the most ridiculous part of it all. I used to come home from getting my haircut. You know, my dad just spent money on getting my haircut. Low key, I know why we went though. Just he wanted to hang out with Reg. Every single time. Without fail. My older sister would come, inspect my haircut point out to my dad how terrible it was and in her best efforts to correct the hack job with just whatever scissors she could find around the house 
would do her very best to at least straighten out the front of my bowl cut. Undercut, mushroom cut, whatever you want to call it. It was a hot ticket back then. She pointed this out to my dad multiple times a year over the years. Did we ever stop going to Reg? I don't think so. Why is that? Because Reg was my dad's boy and they had to have darts and talks. That's just how she go. You know, in Northern Ontario, Canada. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't. Way she goes. Oh no. Did I get hit? Oh, I thought I got hit. Narrow escape. And that was just one of the many places where my dad would basically drag me to so that he could smoke cigarettes and talk to people and drink copious amounts of coffee. And drop deuces in everybody else's toilet but his because he was always dropping deuces when he would stop by. He would shoot the shit and literally take a shit. It was so bad that certain people got to the point where they were getting like annoyed by it. They're like, do you ever just poo at your own house? I hate to just be like, oh, coffee and a smoke, what do you expect? <laughs> it's gonna come out. <laughs> Sounds like the ice machine is about to give us eight beeps. We'll see how well I know it. But it sounds like we're about to get eight beeps. Come on. Hook me up. I had barbecue sauce here the whole time as well. Just got no play. So, let me know. Did any of you have a dad like mine? <laughs> That would drag you around to places and just talk shop everywhere. I'll tell you more times than not. I was just like, why am I here? Like, what, what is happening? Like, what is it? Like, why am I hanging out with all these people who seem like they're just trying to do their job? Like, you know what I mean? very interesting uh, childhood experiences a lot of like mechanics garages as well with nude posters everywhere so I'd usually walk around and peruse those you know I was exposed very early to some tatays bikini calendar models but definitely some nude too as well uh, very interesting Good times, great times, bad haircuts, whole vibe. 
Uh, that's it for this. The wings were probably the better part of it. Once again, pizza just a little dryish kind of deal. Flavors were pretty good, but I just wish it like was actually warm, hot, had some cheese bowl. Uh, pizza, pizza. I don't know. Probably I won't be visiting you for a little while still, so maybe I'll give you another chance in the future. If I did it on, if I did a pickup, if I did like a right the fuck there and then ate it in in a, in in a car, then it could be okay, I think. But uh, that's gonna sum that one up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do: eat good, live well. As they at you.